The topics to be covered in the Realize IDS Analysis Demo are using the Analysis tab to manage incident information, which includes playing back incident session data, creating incident reports, and ignoring incidents, which is just closing them without an incident report. The Trends tab is used to find incident relationships. This is the main window of the Realize IDS user interface. The status line at the bottom shows how many incidents are displayed and how many are in the database. In the Analysis tab, only open incidents are counted. In the Trends tab, it depends on the set of incidents selected. The maximum number of incidents to display are set in the ed Edit Preferences Incidents menu. Each incident is described by the sensor host that reported it, the timestamp of the session start, the IP protocol, the source IP address and port, and the destination IP address and port. A pop-up menu is displayed by moving the mouse to the Analysis tab and clicking on the right button. Each of these selections will be used in this demo. Sorting incidents by various fields organizes them in ways that help understand the activity. The default is date-time, which only sorts on the incident timestamp. Source IP, ascending and descending, sorts on the source IP address in the selected direction and then on the incident timestamp. Destination IP sorts on the destination IP address in the selected direction then on the destination port, and then on the incident timestamp. Event sorts on the event ID, and then on the incident timestamp. Clicking on the triangle at the left of the incident displays the events that are reported. Clicking on the event triangle displays the actions for that event. Clicking on the action triangle displays the triggers for that action. These are the components of rules, which are explained in the rules demo. When playback session is selected, a window displaying the session is opened. The window title shows the addresses and ports the window is divided into two halves with the session information displayed above the session data. The default mode is show hex, and non-printable characters are displayed as open bracket hexadecimal value close bracket. When the hide hex button is played, is pressed, only the printable characters are displayed. The next mode is show Unicode, which displays session data as Unicode characters. The Display Mode button then toggles back to show hex mode. To analyze why the event was reported, find the triggers, which are highlighted. The captured data shows context of the activity to help quickly determine how serious the incident is. In this case, the iframe link attribute and height style attribute were found. The Show Headers button displays the session header fields. The center divider may be used to move right or left to provide more viewing space. The headers are formatted for readability with the timestamp, the IP header, the TCP or UDP header, and the TCP options if they are present. The online help reference includes protocol information such as TCP options or the IP version 4 header layout. When the create view report is selected, a, an incident report window is opened. All fields that are known are set automatically. The WHOIS data is set by a thread that runs in the background 
to contact the appropriate WHOIS server. The Notes tab is for freeform text but must not be left blank. When the Save Report button is clicked, an incident report number is automatically assigned. To close an incident without a report, use the Ignore Incidents selection on the pop-up menu. The choices here are to ignore the currently selected incident, ignore all open incidents with the same source IP or network address, ignore all open incidents with the same destination IP address or network, or ignore all open incidents with the same event. When an incident is ignored, a flag is set in the database to indicate that it is not to be displayed in the Analysis tab. It is not deleted and may be viewed in the Trends tab. The Trends tab provides access to all incidents in the database and multiple methods of viewing them. The To From date must be selected. The Site and Sensor fields may be used to limit the number of reports. The type field determines the set of incidents to search. All incidents will search for all, all open and closed incidents. Incident reports will search for closed incidents with reports and ignored incidents will search for incidents that are closed without reports. The pop-up menu is a subset of the menu on the Analysis tab. Click on Refresh to display the selected incidents. To search for trends in the incidents, select specific IP addresses, ports, and or incident severities. A comma-separated list of IP addresses may be entered in the Hosts field. The Host menu may be used to set source to find only incidents that match the source IP address or destination to find only incidents that mess match the destination IP address. Either will match both. A comma separated list of ports may be used in the ports field. The Ports menu may also be set to Source, Destination, or Either. A single network address may be entered in CIDR format. The Host field applies to this address as well. In this case, only one incident was found, but if all incidents are searched, there are two open incidents for this network. The severity field may be used to search for incident reports with a particular severity. When the severity field is set, all incidents with a severity greater than or equal to that value are displayed. This concludes the Realize IDS analysis demo. Please visit the project website for more information.